I'm Richard Duardo and this is my studio, Modern Multiples. Come check it out. This is our showroom. You're looking at 35 years of work. Some of the artists in the last 35 years that we've worked with, Banksy, Black Lerac, Bernard Binet, David Hockney, Frank Romero, Carlos Almaraz, John Valadez, Revoke, and Retina. We've had the rare opportunity of working from emerging artists to established artists. Over here is a Korean artist by the name of Sana Hong, who is now represented by Murakami in Tokyo. Right above Sana Hong is an artist by the name of Black Larad, who is considered the godfather of stencil art, even before Banksy. The most recognized and acknowledged artist in Chicano art, Carlos Almaraz, who has been dead for about 22 years. For almost 15 years, we worked with him prior to his death, producing his prints. The single most important art in graffiti street in the world. He's anonymous, no one knows what he looks like, but he is considered the breakthrough artist in street art and probably the most successful artist in street art. He goes by the name of Banksy. I'm one of probably a half a dozen people that know what he looks like because his notoriety, besides being a smart contemporary artist, is that no one knows what he looks like. The piece you're looking at is by the world-renowned Shepard Fairey. After working with him for over 10 years, consider this one of the most classic pieces he's ever created. Shepard has been uh, instrumental for resurrecting our studio and reinventing us as the go-to studio for young, emerging street artists of the last decade. He goes by the name of Retina, one of the most collectible artists in the world by museums and major collections. Had a one-man show, what they call a pop-up in the art world now, where they took a warehouse, dressed it up as a gallery, installed almost 40 of his paintings, and within 96 hours sold $1.5 million worth of his paintings. One of the most important artists on the West Coast, and by most accounts is considered the godfather of graffiti art in Los Angeles. He goes by the name of Chaz. And about 10 years ago, if you can look at this, this is a piece that he did that goes by the title of Chino Latino. And um, it's in excess of over 18 production runs. And it is on the secondary market or the secondary art market, one of the most impossible pieces to find. But it is a confluence of what a lot of people consider Los Angeles is. Asian, Latino, gang, street culture coming together and woven into a tapestry that shows the universality of graffiti art. We're about to enter the inner sanctum where creation happens. Artists come in here to work out and deconstruct the possibility of a print that they'd like to produce. We're capable of doing anything. 